So we're going to talk about pituitary tumors. And uh, the pituitary gland is kind of the master gland of all the other glands in the body. So it tells the thyroid what to do, it tells the adrenal what to do, it tells the ovaries what to do, and so on and so on. So it's a, a very crucial structure from that point of view. Pituitary tumors are not really classic brain tumors, but they occur within the head, or at least they can extend into the head, and therefore we consider them as part of the neurosurgical uh, kingdom of thingdom. Uh, pituitary tumors being located at the base of the brain are right under the area called the hypothalamus and right next to the optic structure, in other words, the nerves that go to your eyes and the nerves that connect those two together. So we have then a lot of different very sensitive organs that can be affected by a pituitary tumor. Pituitary tumors are generally described in one of two ways, either by their size or by their secretory capabilities. By size, I mean big or little. So we have macrotumors and microtumors. And then by secretory status, I mean they can either secrete or not secrete. And if they secrete a hormone that causes another of the endocrine glands to go crazy, then the symptoms will be due to the crazy endocrine gland as opposed to the pituitary tumor itself. If they grow in size, then they're most likely to affect the optic system in some way. And people will experience loss of side vision. Uh, it's because this happens so slowly, many people aren't even aware that they've lost their vision and they go to have a, a driver's test and they're discovered to have a loss of peripheral vision. Or they uh, get in an automobile accident because they didn't see the car or they walk into walls. They do things like that as opposed to saying, oh my God, I don't have any side vision. That's something that people are not generally aware of. They could also cause double vision if they affect the nerves that move the eyes. So a patient will present with double vision, perhaps on looking to the left or looking to the right or looking in some other direction. And finally, pituitary tumors, like any other brain tumors, can hemorrhage, and that's a condition called pituitary apoplexy. And that will cause sudden and devastating symptoms. Uh, can result in loss of consciousness, even coma, and even death. So pituitary tumors can be very problematic from that point of view. The most type, the most common secretory type of pituitary tumor secretes a hormone called prolactin, which uh, will have major effects, particularly on women, but also on men. In women, they will present with irregular or lack of menses, periods, and galactorrhea, or milk from the breast. And in people who haven't been taking certain psychotropic medications, or people who are trying to become pregnant, uh, they will be discovered to have a high prolactin level, and then of course the next step is to check the normal pituitary gland and see if there is a tumor causing the production of prolactin, which then causes these other symptoms. Now, men don't present with amenorrhea, of course, but they do present with fatigue, loss of libido, and they too can have galactorrhea or breast milk. That said, the pituitary tumor which secretes prolactin is the most common in both men and women, but is particularly in women. Often these tumors are discovered during a, a fertility workup. Um, incidentally found, so to speak. But pituitary tumors can also secrete ACTH, which stimulates the adrenal gland, and these people can present with Cushing's disease. And Cushing's disease is a condition where the face gets very rounded as though the person has been on steroids. They develop a, a fat accumulation around the trunk as opposed to the extremities, the arms and the legs. They develop purple stripes along their abdomen. And these things uh, are all very interesting, but basically cosmetic. What the Cushing's disease really causes is diabetes and hypertension. And these are very serious conditions and therefore have to be treated. Uh, another type of pituitary tumor can cause the thyroid to become overactive and produce the, si the signs of what we call thyrotoxicosis or jumpiness, weight loss, um, irregular or rapid heartbeat and so on. 
And finally, pituitary tumors can cause an overgrowth of uh, overproduction of growth hormone. And in children, this can result in the child becoming a giant because the, the end plates of the bones don't close and the bones just keep growing and growing and growing. In the people whose end plates have closed, they cause a condition called acromegaly. And acromegaly kind of makes you look like Frankenstein. The jaw becomes overgrown. The forehead comes out. Hands and feet become big. Uh, they can't put on the ring, can't uh, put on their shoes any longer. And um, again, these are like with the Cushing's disease, undesirable cosmetic effects. But what the growth hormone secretion can really do is called rest cause restrictive lung disease and cause a condition of the heart called cardiomyopathy. Uh, damage to the heart. So that's where those uh, tumors fall. A tumor can be both big and secretory, so that in addition to causing all the various syndromes that I just described, there can be the loss of the vision and even problems with the hypothalamus. Or the tumor can be small and secretory, in which case there won't be any problems with vision but all of the endocrine, all of the hormonal issues will still be there. And finally, obviously, there's one more category, and that is a micro non-secretory tumor. And that nobody ever finds out about until you have your autopsy because they don't cause any symptoms. There's no loss of pituitary function. There's no overactivity of pituitary function. There's no difficulty with the vision. They're just kind of an incidental pathological finding. So in future times, what we will do is talk in more detail about the different types of pituitary tumors and about their treatment. Some can be treated with medicine alone. Some require surgery. Some require surgery and radiation. Uh, there are a lot of different options.